Hi guys, welcome back to Keys Grills. Uh, today we've got to do a quick dinner because the fucking family are hungry and they're all, all over me like a fucking rash. Do you know what I mean? So we're doing burgers. And I've been dying to do burgers with the uh, Angus Anoint Montreal Steak and Burger because I only did steaks last time. So I sound like I'm talking quick because you can't see this, but over there there's a lot of people fucking looking at me going, where's my bloody dinner? Anyway, listen, in there I have got 600 grams of steak mints. Uh, I'm going to add to that, I'd say, probably about two tablespoons of the old Montreal and we are literally going to mash this up. Lovely. Can't beat the old smash burgers guys but what I'm also going to do is we're going to have bacon, we're going to have bacon over here and we're going to have sausages and I've also shredded up some um, potato and I'm going to make almost like a hash brown to go on the top of that. Bit of onion, usual sauces, happy days. Now, I know you're going to be screaming at me, where's the cheese, where's the cheese, but I told you I don't fucking like cheese. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to get my way through the cheese, but I'm not there yet. So, this will be a non-cheese burger. Anyway, make sure we get plenty of that flavour in. I'm going to put a little bit more in there, just a tad. I do like this flavouring. Fucking lovely. Right, there we go. Give that... A good old mince up. I do get my mince from LFB Mo. Uh, no, excuse me. I do get my meat from LFB Mint. Uh, there, there, there. I do get my steak mince from LFB Mint. <laughs> Fuck off. I do get my mince from LFB Meats, <laughs> which is down the road, and it's the fucking best mince I've ever had. Honestly, it's always fucking handsome, especially when you make your own burgers. Anyway, we're gonna make look something like that, and then all you're gonna do is take off a pinch somewhere in the region <laughs> of that. All right, let's keep on going to get all those done. Let me go get a plate. Now I will fast forward this bit because the last thing you want to do is sit there watching me playing with my balls, is it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> now you can weigh these out if you want, but a bit much though, isn't it? Fucking weighing them out. But hey right, there we have it. Okie dokie, next stage. That can go on there. Let's get this out of the way, get these undercover. Then what we're gonna do is, now the other day, I did myself a bacon sandwich, all right? And I used the Pegasus rub that we'd done in the rubber Fuck me, it was lovely. So then I thought to myself, do you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna use that again in a burger. Now I quite like adding the bacon to the burger like this. I'm not going to roll it up into the actual meat, but I'm going to put this little lot here, cut this into thin strips. And that is how I'm going to cook it, because today we are using the Pit Boss Griddle. But before it goes on the Pit Boss Griddle, <laughs> Pit Boss Griddle, um, it is, it's going in this bowl here, like so. Put the old one glove on. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add some of the old Pegasus rub. Sounds a bit weird, but honestly, as I said to you, I made this bacon sandwich the other day and I laid out the bacon and I sucked some of that fucking that rub on there. So it just gives it, it just gave it a little bit something different. Let's get this out of the way. Let's have a quick glass of wine. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I feel like, I've been, feel like we've been on the piss for about fucking eight days. It's just been absolutely fucking mental. And every day I say, right, now, right, we'll take it easy today, take it easy today. I think, ah, oh, sun's come out again, isn't it? I tell you, if you ever want to plan your weather, plan it around when, I'm not, when I don't want to drink. As soon as I don't want to have a drink, the fucking sun comes out. Right, it's a little bit more. Oh, it smells nice, that does. Just gives another little flavour to the bacon. Hmm. Perfect, look at that. Oh, that smells fucking handsome. Okie dokie. And that, guys, is pretty much our prep. All right? So, very simply, let's get over to the Pit Boss Griddle. And let's get cracking on the old smash burger, shall we? Okie dokie, guys. Here we go. First things first, we need to get some, some of these fucking bangers on. The old sausages. Let's get this baby nice. She's already nice and hot. Get a bit of the old olive oil on today. It's a fair amount of cook. Let's give this a spread around. There we go. 
Sausages on first. Let's turn this down just a touch. Okay, okay, okay. Listen for the sizzle, guys. You can't beat the old sizzle. Very straightforward. As I said to you, today's going to be a fast dish, all right? If you blink, you're going to miss this. <laughs> it's going to be a fast dish, guys. If you blink, you're going to miss it. Because they're already fucking moaning at me in here. Is that mean? I've got no chance, have I? Where's my dinner? Where's my fucking dinner? Jesus Christ, why? Lovely, lovely. Happy days. Look at that. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. So as I said, guys, I am cooking a smash burger with sausages, bacon, onions, hash brown, brioche bun. But what more do you fucking want for Sunday? Do you know what I mean? Little cold spot over here. That is going to take the bacon. All right, so as I said to you, this is just shredded up bacon with the Pegasus rub. And on she goes. Want not waste not, she's all going in. And sometimes it's quite nice to bake in this way. It's a little bit different than just you keeping them in the normal rashers. Slippery sucker. <laughs> that fella was dancing. Lovely. Lovely. I always like to split my sausages, guys. Straight down the middle. Especially when you're doing them as a sandwich. Or as a burger, I should say. Okay. Get some onion over here. Wonderful. Here's the heat come off that grill today, mate. It's fucking neat all. Looking good. Looking good. A little turn over. Bacon's crisping up lovely. Get the smell of the onions. Fucking happy days, mate. Happy days. These are a handy thing to have, guys, these little grills, these little uh, steel trays here. Especially when things start to get cooked, you can get them off the fucking heat, do you know what I mean? Switch that baby off over there now, let that cool down. Sausages, oh, that might stay for a bit longer. Done. You can stay over there, fella. Next stage, guys, we're gonna do a little bit of oil on there. And we're going to try and make ourselves some flat ash browns, like so. A couple of these little fuckers on here, like so. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm playing a fucking tune, isn't it? Rice fucking bacon looks bloody lovely. I'll tell you, I'd definitely give that a try with that Pegasus. Do you know what I mean? Because it's fucking, it really just gives you a little fucking different profile. Nice, mate, it's nice. This is it, this bad boy's starting to cook. They are just about done. What you can do is take a couple of these. All right, we're gonna go here. One, two, A little bit of grease proof and smash. Now I have said to you before, I personally prefer to do two smaller patties than one big patty. But you know what? Each to their own, and I always like to use a bit of grease proof. But again, the choice is yours, you know what I mean? Stay together, stay together guys. Oh you slippery fuck, get off there. under here. I think we're just about ready. Fuzzy flip. Lovely. And again guys. Oh look at that. And look at that. And look at that. 
The only thing I like to do with these, just a little pinch of salt. There we go. Happy days. Get the old brioche out. That's going on there, that's going on there. We are just about ready to build, guys. Just about ready to build. Okay, guys, I think we're there. First things first, first, things first. nice toasted bun. Look at that, happy days. Now, I like to start with a little bit of mayo in the bottom. Then, who's had me fucking tongs? Then we're going to go with burger number one or patty number one. Then we're going to go with a little bit of onion in the middle there. Then we're going to go with patty number two. I'm going to give one of these sausages a quick blast on the heat. Give these a little bit there. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Nearly there. Then... We're going sausage. Then we're going bacon. Then <laughs> we are going to go on here with that, the old hashes of browners. I'm not going to get all of it by the looks of it. Then we're going ketchup. Right over the top. Now I'm not being funny. That bad boy on the top, that's our burger. That looks fucking handsome. Now, here's the key. And there we have it, guys. I don't even know how I'm gonna bite into this bad boy, but we're gonna have a go. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, going in again, that's fucking handsome, guys. That is literally handsome. Look at that. What right, man? Sausage, bacon, smash burger, onions, oh fuck me what's left, hash brown, all on a uh, brioche bun, what more can you fucking want for? Using Montreal steak rub, burger and steak rub for the burger, and then try that, honestly, Pegasus on that shredded bacon, happy days. But, I promise you, if anyone put that in front of you, you wouldn't be upset. Now remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons and I'll see you next time.